welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Sunday, October 18th, proper 24. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle. It's a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me if you'd like in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Sovereign God, raise your throne in our hearts. Created by you, let us live in your image. Created for you, let us act for your glory. Redeemed by you, let us give you what is yours. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now we turn to the pages of Holy Scripture. We begin today in the prophet Isaiah. From the 45th chapter. This is what the Lord says to his chosen one, to Cyrus, whose right hand I hold, in order to subdue nations before him and disarm kings, to open doors before him so gates remain unclosed. I will go before you and level mountains. Bronze doors I will shatter and iron bars I will hack through. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stashed away in secret places, so you may recognize that I am the Lord, the one who calls you by name, the God of Israel. For the sake of my servant Jacob, Israel my chosen one, I call you by name and give you a title of respect, even though you do not recognize me. I am the Lord, I have no peer. There is no God but me. I arm you for battle, even though you do not recognize me. I do this so people will recognize from east to west that there is no God but me. I am the Lord, I have no peer. I am the one who forms light and creates darkness, the one who brings about peace and creates calamity. I am the Lord who accomplishes all these things. Now we turn to Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Announce every day how he delivers. Tell the nations about his splendor. Tell all the nations about his amazing deeds. For the Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. He is more awesome than all gods. For all the gods of the nations are worthless, but the Lord made the sky. Majestic splendor emanates from him. His sanctuary is firmly established and beautiful. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the nations, ascribe to the Lord splendor and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the splendor he deserves. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is established, it cannot be moved. He judges the nations fairly. Let the sky rejoice and the earth be happy. Let the sea and everything in it shout. Let the fields and everything in them celebrate. Then let the trees of the forest shout with joy before the Lord, for he comes. For he comes to judge the earth. He judges the world fairly and the nations in accordance with his justice. Now we turn to the first letter to the Thessalonians, the first chapter. From Paul and Silvanus and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians in God and the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you. 
We thank God always for all of you as we mention you constantly in our prayers, because we recall in the presence of our God and Father your work of faith and a labor of love and endurance of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, brothers and sisters, loved by God, that he has chosen you, in that our gospel did not come to you merely in words, but in power and in the Holy Spirit and with deep conviction. Surely you recall the character we displayed when we came among you to help you. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord when you received the message with joy that comes from the Holy Spirit, despite great affliction. As a result, you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you, the message of the Lord has echoed forth, not just in Macedonia and Achaia, but in every place reports of your faith in God have spread, so that we do not need to say anything. For people everywhere report how you welcomed us and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus our Deliverer from the coming wrath. Finally, in the Gospel of Matthew, the 22nd chapter. Then the Pharisees went out and planned together to entrap Jesus with his own words. They sent to him their disciples, along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are truthful, and teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You do not court anyone's favor because you show no partiality. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus realized their evil intentions and said, Hypocrites, why are you testing me? Show me the coin used for the tax. So they brought him a denarius. Jesus said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. He said to them, then give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Now, when they heard this, they were stunned, and they left him and went away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us together in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving health again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. 
keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our local community, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Each day, I like to share with you one good thing, a bit of hopeful news, a moment of beauty, a tip to help you through the day. Normally on Sundays, I offer either a hymn or an anthem from our musicians at the Good Shepherd. This week is different though. It's our first Sunday gathering in the sanctuary together since March, and our handbell choir is offering two selections to help us thank God for this blessing please pop on over to the video of our Sunday worship and enjoy their talents. It'll be ready to go sometime in the afternoon on Sunday. And that's one good thing for today. Do you have a good thing that you'd like to share with the world? Send us your photos and videos by going to bit.ly slash mygoodthing and share your tips and stories with at Pastor Schaefer on Twitter. I can't wait to hear from you. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, and please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.